It's a downgrade, you know it. Still your best. I don't even know how I can do this sometimes. Like, from this to this, it's amazing. Welcome back to my channel it's your girl frizzy curls and i am back again with another youtube video so honestly this video is a little random um it was time for me to wash that wash and go out of my hair if you hadn't seen that video go ahead and check it out but it was time for the wash and go to go and i really didn't know what else to do to my hair and i was like well i hadn't done like blow dried hairstyles in a while so I kind of want to try it. I had two ideas in mind. The first one was to do like flat twist, small flat twist to like the top of my head or the crown of my head and then have the rest out. But I would like seal the ends with like a gold accessory or something. The second idea was to do two big braids around my head until we get to the back and just make like two little buns on the bottom. And I thought that would be really cute. So I did my makeup and the vibe I'm getting from this makeup is to just do the two little braids and the buns at the bottom. So we're gonna attempt to do that today. As y'all can see, my hair is blow dried and my hair is thick. Thick, 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 thick. Okay, like she thick. I have done halo braids on my hair before, um, which was not too long ago. It was definitely this year and it was on blow dried hair. So it shouldn't be terribly hard, but it's been a while. So hopefully, you know, we can get them popping. So before we get started, I'm just gonna run through the products that I use to blow dry my hair. So after I washed my hair, I did braid my hair up into three different braids. So I did the two front sections and then one big section in the back. My hair was like 40% wet before I blow dried it. So all I did was took some water, sprayed the hair a little bit then i took some leave-in conditioner from style factor this is from their wig outline uh, oh my god and then on top of that i used the style factor wig out heat protectant spray and this video is not sponsored but i did want to thank style factor for sending me some more products if y'all are subscribed to my channel you know i am a style factor advocate i love their products especially their wig outline so if you hadn't purchased any items from their line, I do have several videos of different products that I use. So I can list some down below if y'all want to check them out. But again, thank you Style Factor for sending me these products. Okay, so getting started, we're going to, I'm saying we like y'all doing this with me, but y'all might be. So I'm going to just part a hopefully even part in the middle of my head. Um, I'm probably going to bring this all the way down to the back, but honestly the back really doesn't matter. It's more so how the part looks in the front. So I tried my best to line it up with my nose. And yeah, I do notice the slightest amount of dandruff in my head. As y'all can see, it's just flaking on up. That is caused by having dry scalp and I don't really take the best care of my scalp. I really don't take the best care of my hair. But what I'm actually gonna do before I get started um, since this part will be like the main part that you see, I'm going to take some Dugro grease. It looks like this. And honestly, if y'all really want to know, I've used Dugro. Well, I haven't used it much in my adult life, but as a child, this was like the main grease that I used. And I would say that did contribute to my hair growing a lot. But as a semi-natural hair enthusiast, um, definitely had to cop again. And as y'all can see, this container is empty. So I don't use it often but I do use it enough to where there's barely anything left in there. So I'm just gonna take some on my finger and apply it to my scalp. And honestly, anytime I do a hairstyle where you can see parts, I try my best to actually either oil or grease my scalp. I don't really care too much about the parting because I probably will be taking this hairstyle down Within the next couple of days, as y'all know, I don't keep hairstyles longer than three days, or I try not to because I get bored very fast with my hair. But um, what was I saying? When this style has run its course, I'm probably gonna change it to another style and film another video for you guys on blow-dried hair, just so I can get some hairstyles out of the blow-dried hair. Like I don't wanna just do one style and have to wash my hair. Like that defeats the purpose of even doing this. So yeah, I should be doing a few more styles on this blow-dried hair, but for today, we're just gonna do the two braids and the buns at the bottom. And we're gonna hope that it comes out because I feel like it'll really be a cute hairstyle with this makeup look. Hey, the sky, cruising highway 85. 
all right y'all so i went ahead and did this side off camera and i'm liking how it's looking um the puffs really wasn't working out it's supposed to be like regular buns but since my hair is short now since i've been cutting it since like last year it don't really ball up like how i used to so what i did for the ends was just um twisted it up in three different twists and kind of just twisted them around itself loosely and it created this cute little i don't know what is it what are those donuts called if y'all know the donuts i'm talking about they look kind of like this <laughs> but um i think they donuts i don't know i don't really eat them but it's cute i'm liking it so hopefully this side can come out right i'm not mad at the braid it could be better but like i said i probably won't keep this hairstyle in for that long honestly it probably won't look like this when i wake up in the morning so yeah anywho i'm about to just move on to this side y'all can see my hair so thick man i don't know i don't even know how i can do this sometimes like from this to this it's amazing it definitely gives me christmas vibes i'm giving y'all a whole christmas look right now like the red lip the sharp black wing, the green hair, the green robe. It's a look. Pu -pu -pu -poker face, pu -pu -poker face. So the first thing I used was some oil. If you're OG subscriber, you already know the vibes. After that, I took some Style Factor wig out curl conditioning gel. Um, I only used one pump of this, but I kind of spread it out as much as I could. Um, you do want to be careful if you use this on blow dried hair, because if you use too much, it definitely can revert your curls. So we don't want that. And it does have a different consistency. It's kind of like, it's kind of like very liquidy, but also like a little sticky looking, but it doesn't feel sticky. It just feels like regular, like leave-in conditioner or something. I don't really know how to explain it, but if y'all have bought this, then y'all know what I'm talking about. And then for my edges, the first thing I used was the Style Factor Edge Booster Hydro Conditioning Pomade. I believe this is new because like I mentioned, Style Factor did send me some products and this was one of the products they sent me. They sent me three kinds of this one. And honestly, this pomade works better with like doing styles like this because it doesn't give you like a super hard hold but it does get your edges to lay, which does help with styling. Oh yeah, and another thing I forgot to mention, y'all, look at this brush. Okay, come on, Style Factor. They also sent me this in the big package that they sent me, and I'm just using this to lay down the edges. This is a premium board bristle brush, and y'all, I really do like it. The first time I used it, I was like, waves on swim, so they hate on him, period. You see that? All right, so I pretty much got my edges slicked down with the hydro conditioning pomade. Now I'm just going over top with that with a little bit of the extra rich, I mean the extra strength and moisture rich pomade. And honestly, y'all, it's taking me a little minute to get this side right because I'm right handed. So it's easier to like just do this real quick. But this side, it just take a little extra work. I wish I was both handed. Cause this shit here is overrated. All right, so after the edges are pretty much laid, they ain't gotta be super perfect. They just need to look decent for this hairstyle. So I'm just gonna put my hair in a ponytail really quickly just to lay my edges with my scarf. All right, so I'm only gonna leave this on for a few minutes just so it can set a little bit. Like I said, I'm probably going to bed after this. It's like one o'clock, probably two o'clock in the morning now, but y'all know me, I can't never film no content in the daytime. But yeah, I'm gonna let this sit for like maybe three minutes and then we're gonna get to the braid. Y'all, I thought I was recording this whole time. So I'm starting to braid now.
too far back. Ugh. Why you wanna do a bad bitch wrong? About to make this another bad bitch song, A. Hey. Okay, this is as good as it's gonna get. So now I just braid it all the way, or I braid it halfway down just so I can focus the hair bow at the root. And then I'm just gonna undo that, the rest of the braid. Okay, doesn't look too bad, doesn't look too bad, okay? At the braid, I like to just make sure any raised pieces is like pushed underneath the braid so it kind of looks more flat. So I'm just gonna take some bobby pins and secure any puffy pieces. All right, we're getting down to the wire and all I'm gonna do is attempt to do the same thing that I did to the other side. So I'm just gonna take a couple of, well, a few pieces of my hair and make a few two strand twists. So now, all I'm gonna do is twist it around itself. So I don't know which direction I went in. Nope. Oh no. So I might have to just take some product to try to like smooth it down. Okay, well that definitely made a difference in the twist. Let's see. I'm gonna try to do it one at a time. When I tell y'all this took entirely longer than it should have, I'm tired. So literally the last thing there is to it, this is optional, but since you know it's a YouTube video, why not? The last thing I'm gonna add to my hair is some We Dad Revive and Shine Rejuvenating Dry Oil Mist. And I really do like this dry oil mist. We Dad actually sent this to me last year along with a couple of other products from this collection. And I really did like the products, but the main thing that I like from it was the oil mist and I'm just going to spray my hair very lightly just to, you know, add a little bit more shine to it. So guys, that is how I did this hairstyle today. I think it's really, really cute. I just wish it was a little bit more symmetrical because as y'all can see, this side is a lot more defined than this side. But you know, it is what it is because this side just refused to cooperate after I took it down and tried to retwist it up. Also, I am not a braider, so I think I did pretty good on my braids for this to be like maybe the fourth time I've done braids like this. So, you know, not bad. Um, this hairstyle definitely goes cute with some holiday makeup. So if you guys want to see any makeup tutorials or any other hairstyles on this blow dry hair, Comment down below what you would want to see. But yeah, y'all, this is how I got the hairstyle today. I really hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way to my next video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!